Hi, this is just a short how-to video so you can make a lantern just like this from your kit, which you have got in a bag just like this. There are full instructions inside as well, but we thought this would just help you along. So first thing to do, open up your bag of stuff and check you've got everything you need. And then just organize it so you're ready to start. There are written instructions as well, which you can follow. One roll of masking tape, one tea light, a number of sticks, some tissue paper, PVA glue, and some silver stuff. You will also need a few things yourself, a pair of scissors, a decent sized paintbrush, or sponge instead of the paintbrush. One of these washy up things is pretty good. A bowl, or a tray, so we're to mix your PVA. And you'll need a waterproof surface, a tablecloth, a big plate, um, something that you can glue on. Okay, take two of the long sticks, and you need about five centimeters of tape, four and a bit inches if you're my age. And for each joint, you're gonna put the tape onto the stick, and then turn your stick round and give it a really good squeeze. So you're gonna make a flag on the end of your stick this makes sure it doesn't come off. Bring the other stick up to the end there and then wrap it around really tightly. It's a bit more like tying rather than taping and a really good squeeze at the end. And then one of the medium sticks, we're gonna turn that into an isosceles triangle. So again, a bit of tape on the stick first of all just overlap the sticks at the end, wrap it round, and the all important tight squeeze there. And then just finishing off. And you go, a good isosceles triangle. More points if you can spell isosceles. Take your third long stick, make that all important flag on the end good squeeze and then if you stand your triangle like that you're going to join this to the apex of that first triangle tight squeeze so it looks like that next with your two medium sticks you have left we're going to turn this into a triangle based pyramid and stick in one on there And the final one on the other side like that. Go around, check all your joints, give them a really tight squeeze to make sure it's nice and strong. And there you go, one triangular base pyramid. Okay, then take three of your shorter sticks, the shorter sticks in your pack, and you're going to put these one on each side. It doesn't really matter where they go, but the rule is they're not to stick out. So you've got to go from one side to the other. So somewhere like that, or you could put it up like that. You could do all three sides symmetrically, or you can do it differently, up to you. There we go. Check the joints, give them a squeeze. Nice and strong all the way around. Next, get your two remaining shortest sticks and your tea light, your battery powered LED tea light with a little switch on the bottom. We're gonna join these two short sticks at one end to form a V shape, which we're then gonna put into the base of your lantern, but a middle of one side, tape it on there like that, and then tape it up so it looks like that. So there are the sticks attached. And then I'm gonna tape the tea light underneath about there, making sure that the switch is still accessible. 
It's a bit fiddly this bit, but it doesn't need to look tidy. It just needs to be nice and secure. Now you can see I can still turn the light on and off from underneath. Now that's construction complete. Again, just go around, check all the joints are nice and squeezed. And then we're ready to start the covering. Right then, you have a small pot of PVA and then you'll need a jug or a dish somewhere to mix the PVA. Take the lid off, pour your PVA into your jug or bowl and then I want you to fill this up again, almost the top with water and mix it with the PVA. So we're going for kind of a one-to-one -one dilution of PVA and water. Get your waterproof surface. This is mine. If you've got a plastic tray, a plastic tablecloth, something like that, that'll be fine. This is where we're going to do the gluing of the paper. Your pot of glue and then your paintbrush or your sponge, depending on which you want to use. Tissue paper from your kit, put that to one side, keep it away from the glue, then we're ready to start. So take one sheet of your paper, stick it onto your waterproof surface, fingers on one end. Soak your brush or your sponge in the glue, just scrape off the drips, and then starting by your fingers, you're gonna work away from your fingers to cover the paper completely. It doesn't matter which way up the paper is, the glue goes straight through both sides. Stick your brush back in there, and then carefully, I'm gonna lift the paper with two corners like that, carefully so it doesn't fold over. Bring your lantern over, and then starting towards the top, we're just gonna fold the paper round. It's quite strong, so you can pull it tight, then I'm just gonna squeeze it against the sticks all the way around. And then you just repeat the process. Plenty of glue, fingers on there to start with. Make sure you're covering the paper. Carefully pick it up and then overlap in a couple of centimeters. Wrap it around, pull it tight and just squeeze it gently against the sticks. And there you have it. Lantern completely covered all three sides. I haven't done the base yet, we're gonna do that last. Now while the glue's still wet, you can use your silver stuff to make some decorations on the side. Um, it doesn't really matter what sort of shapes you cut, but you don't wanna to put too many on, just a couple on each side. And what this will do is reflect any ambient light from shops and anything else. Make sure you put these on carefully, don't push your way through the lantern and these will stick on the PVA that's already there. You'll need a bit of string. Uh, a shoelace is an ideal kind of length. Fold it in half, and I'm gonna tie a knot in here to form a loop at one end. And then just thread it through the top of your lantern. Tie that nice and tightly. And this is just to hang your lantern up. And the very last thing then is to cover the base in the paper as well. Again, making sure you've got access to that little switch at the end there. So there's the base cover. And again, access to that little switch there so we can turn the light on. Very important, don't put this down somewhere. Go and hang it up to dry. If you put it down, it's gonna get stuck to surfaces. So hang it up to dry. Now when it's dry, you can do another layer of PVA over the whole thing to help strengthen it. And there you go, your finished lantern. Now these aren't completely weatherproof, so when you hang it outside, underneath a tree or in your porch is good, or you can hang them in a window inside. 
Just a couple of things though, don't put a real candle in these because they'll just catch fire. Keep them away from sources of heat or any naked flame. That's why we've got a battery powered light in there. Have a good Christmas.